Hi guys, Dorota Palicka, International Nail Artist and Educator here and today we are going to do an easy and maybe not easy design. Uh, it is a military camouflage print. You can have a wee preview of it in here. I think it looks fantastic in this combination of the colors like white, grays and blacks, but it could be done in any color you can imagine. Uh, I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial and if you do uh, similar designs just hashtag Dorota Palicka on the Instagram. Don't forget to follow me in there as well and of course to subscribe to the YouTube channel as well but this way I will have a chance to, to see your work uh, which is really rewarding uh, if someone is uh, showing up what they have created as well so keep those hashtags coming in guys. Uh, but yeah I just finished this talking and let you enjoy this video. Let's start. Something slightly different, uh, the sun camouflage set of the nails, uh, very easy to do it, but I think it looks quite nice as a pattern and you could change the color so it could be in pink, it could be in green and blue, like any color water which comes to your mind. I just thought I will do it black and white, uh, but honestly in any color I think it will look so cool. So just for a quickness I'm going to use the paint on French gel. I'm just picking up a drop of the paint on French gel. In there and a drop of the foil design gel as a black. So I need one just for pure black and then what I've got left over to create a nice gray. So I've got one shade of gray yeah, 50 shades. <laughs> and then the second sheet. Perfect. So basically using those three colors we are going to create the, the look. If you would work with um, and want to do say example pink one, uh, you would do exactly the same. So just add the drop of the red into white and then smaller drop of the red to create a lighter color. So you've got kind of matching colors. So let's start with this lighter color first. And basically all what I'm doing is just drawing splashes like on camouflage pattern, completely random. So you just do like a wee touches. So some of them are going to be bigger, some of them are going to be smaller. And that's the lightest color we have created. Obviously the tip is painted white, but if you wouldn't have a white uh, tip, I would suggest you start painting with the white color then. So, so your first patches would be in white color. And I'm using the watercolor brush from Neil Perfect. It's a slightly bigger brush. It isn't a brush to create like precise strokes and things like that, but I find it is so much quicker like for me to paint some, some designs with it. Like the designs which I don't need to be like uh, super careful like what I'm painting really. And uh, if it's needed, so after I apply the large splash of the color, I can always take a dealer in there and I can just touch up those places with the uh, fine liner brush. But it's so much quicker this way, like guys. So I think I will definitely use it in a salon, like and uh, autumn time, white and gray is a perfect com color combination. So those the green, uh, so I think it will be really fancy set. Also animal prints are really popular as well. I might actually do some maybe like a bit tiger or, or some you know, leopard prints for you as well. Like a little bit um, more advanced and a little bit easier patterns as well. And feel free to post some requests guys. Um, keep writing them down. We, we really 
busy with everything. I got settled on this back to being really busy, like fully booked constantly all the time. So it's pretty difficult to find some spare time uh, for doing anything, not to mention like uh, other things in life as well, because I've been working constantly, like almost seven days a week. Today is a Sunday and that's my day off. And yeah, that's what we're using for. So um, I'm glad like I find finally a time to record a little bit more guys for you because we was desperate <laughs> with the camera mom is like no we have to record lots of tutorials today for you uh, so you can guys enjoy it okay next step is to go into those uh, medium color which we've got them here which is those uh, light gray so I'm just um, dipping in my brush in there and what you could do is you could go even over the previous pattern like don't be scared to go over it You don't have to, but you could. So I'm kind of going over it, but also I'm creating some white patches by leaving some empty space. So this way I don't have to paint those white ones. And to be honest, it's already starting looking pretty cool, like a wee camouflage, Neil. You know, that's plenty because we've got still black. So that's plenty. So I'm trying to like uh, leave as much color as possible first and then I'm start shaping my pattern. I find that this is the quickest way of doing those type of design. And if I find any patch which I weren't happy before with it, that's the patch which I can cover. Like the edge of it maybe wasn't nice and even like see here even. Yeah, I don't like this one, so I'm just covering it up. And that's the technique I'm using with the, when creating the nails as well. Like I'm trying to perfect the shape of the nails, the, the look of the nails through the entire process. So at every single step, I will be doing something to improve it. Like I might do it with the gel application, I might do it with the filing, I might do it with even the design, like and then at the age, at the last step um, with the top coat application, because like with the design, you can always put uh, the design into the right places so the things looks much better. And then same with the top coat, you can even out some things if you're not happy 100%. So here I'm not happy again. Just cover it up, then make it bigger here. And the last color which we are going to work through is black. So I'm just cleaning my brush. And when I'm cleaning the brushes, I'm kind of rolling it. You can dip in, in the black and clean it in the color you're using as well. So like rolling it. And then the black. Black is such a strong color that you don't want to do too much of it. Like I'm not going to overdo it with the black. I'm saying I'm not going to overdo it and uh, this one is quite large. I don't like the edges of it. There we are. So trying to achieve like a quite nice and smooth 
finish at the edges with this large brush is more difficult definitely. Okay, let's slow down. Okay, and that's okay, last one. And then give it a cure. Here I'm going to do a pretty large one. Honestly, it's a really fun design to do it. All sort of diff all sort of different colors. And I think I want always wanted to do it. It's funny actually, I wanted to be a soldier when I was younger uh, as well. So <laughs> at first I wanted to be a dentist to fear to fix my granddad teeth. And then I wanted to be a soldier and I end up being a nail technician. I had actually trousers and I had the top like this as well with this pattern. So basically I'm painting a similar pattern all over and then trying to fix it and make it nice. Yay, and that's us. Yeah, very simple guys uh, designed to do it. But I think it looks uh, pretty cool to be honest. So I'm just going to apply the top coat and show you the full set. I think full set and the thumbnail picture should look absolutely cool as well. Because uh, it's a pretty interesting look. Yeah, and different shades. Pink, pink and black will look cool as well. It's actually scary how the times fly. So now like the, that's that's basically the summer over. It's like all autumn designs coming in and then soon they will be a Christmas month again. Oh my goodness, crazy. You have to guys check some previous playlists. Uh, I'll actually post them maybe in the community tab because uh, there are some autumn designs uh, which we have created last year. So some of you who are fresh in here can check them out and uh, those ones who subscribe, subscribe after seeing this video as well, you can guys check those uh, previous ones too, because there is lots of lots of different types of tutorials. So now I can show you the finished results of the set which we have created today. So that's the snail going there.
and another one. So I'm using blue tack to attach my tips and I'm using also blue tack to use, actually it looks so cool together. Like nothing over the top, but I like it. Like I like it how it looks together. I think it's pretty cool. Now I'm trying to always, when I remove the tips from the lamp, I'm trying to don't touch them with my fingers until the top coat cools down. Um, the top coat always should cool down a couple seconds before we should touch it or wipe, wipe the hands or apply cuticle oil to don't go dull. That's a good tip for you guys like the, if you wait for the top coat to cool down a little bit, then you've got it. It looks super cool actually. I like it. Like, I mean, so simple, like really simple set, but I think it looks pretty nice and interesting. Uh, yeah, sending you lots of glittery hacks and bye for now.